The AFC Western Division champion Oakland Raiders battled the Patriots and New England weather, aiming for Super Bowl 36. Rich Gannon's pass to speedster James Jett earned a 7 to nothing lead. Second-year pro Sebastian Janikowski's field goals helped build a 13-3 lead. But in the final minutes, a game-ending fumble recovery ruled an incomplete pass gave New England life. These gallant Raiders lost in overtime and 2001 ended as unfinished business for the silver and black. The season opened with 27 players in their first two years as a Raider. Seeking a third straight Raider win at Arrowhead, quarterback Rich Gannon found tight end Roland Williams, number 86, wide open. Coach John Gruden featured future Hall of Famers Jerry Rice, 80, and Tim Brown, 81. Receiver Reggie Barlow had been lost in preseason. All season long, offensive linemen Barrett Robbins, Steve Wisniewski, Barry Sims, Mo Collins, Lincoln Kennedy, Matt Stinchcomb, Adam True, Frank Middleton, Darrell Ashmore, and Aaron Graham protected so Gannon could hit his gifted wideouts. Tyrone Wheatley, 47, and the rushing attack hammered out 100 second half yards, leading to 21 more points. To his ninth Pro Bowl, Tim Brown caught eight passes, including this touchdown in his 38th 100 yard game. decision to go for two succeeded on Gannon's great effort. And he dives for the pipeline. He got in. Two-point conversion. A great play by Gannon. John Ritchie's reception put the Raiders on top 24 to 17. Defensive lineman Trace Armstrong and Tony Bryant dominated up front. Snap from Drew is good. Lechler has it down. Janikowski has it away. And it is Janikowski's fourth field goal put Oakland ahead 27 to 24, and Charles Woodson's interception sealed the win for the defending Western Division champions. Pro football's best winning percentage was built on finishes like this. Back home in the Coliseum, Raiderettes and Raiders alike were ready for the Seattle Seahawks. Pro Bowl corner Charles Woodson was flawless, and the punting of Shane Leckler set up swarming coverage by Eric Johnson, Eric Barton, Randy Jordan, Johnny Harris, Zach Crockett, Bobby Brooks, Aaron Graham, and others. Overpowering defense by Josh Taves, Roderick Coleman, Grady Jackson, and Marquez Pope stopped Seattle inside, while Rich Gannon to Jerry Rice then earned an early Raider lead. 
Alert Eric Allen, 21, put the Raiders ahead by 17. And he falls forward for again. He fumbled the ball, picked up by Eric Allen, running back in. He will score. Touchdown, Eric Allen. Raider precision passing freed second-year pro Jerry Porter, number 84. The aerial artistry of Gannon and Rice put Oakland up by 24. Eric Barton, 50. Rookie Derek Gibson, 26. Bobby Brooks, 55. And Travian Smith, 53. Punished on special teams. With center Barrett Robbins on injured reserve, Adam True, 62, led Gannon Goldwyn. Number 75, rookie defensive lineman Chris Cooper's interception set up another score. Gannon's mobility and Tyrone Wheatley's second effort completed a 38-point scoring explosion. With Bobby Hoying injured, rookie Marcus Tuiasasopo finished up, hitting James Jett in the 24-point win. Before the next game, Tyrone Wheatley greeted loyal Raider fans. With Frank Middleton, 73, and Lincoln Kennedy, 72, providing time, Rich Gannon found Jerry Rice in the Dallas end zone. Zach Crockett, escorted by Wisniewski and Sims, increased the lead. Tyrone Wheatley gave Oakland a 14-point lead. Beating tackler Greg Beekert and defensive end Reagan Upshaw corralled Cowboys. Wheatley's run behind Richie, Brigham, Sims, and Wisniewski ensured the 28-21 victory, heading into Indianapolis. Pro Bowl pick Charles Woodson and the secondary did shine. Manning going to throw on the move. Intercepted. It's going to be a touchdown for Anthony Dorsett, his second of the year. Anthony Dorsett's interception made it 13 to 3, and Gannon's bomb to Tim Brown set up another score as a national TV audience watched the 23 to 18 Raider triumph. One of y'all boys give me a big play out there. One of y'all give me a big play out there. Big plays were plentiful against the Eagles. Elijah Alexander forced one huge loss as the defense dominated, yielding only 195 total yards. Ninety-nine Josh Taves and his teammates constantly pressured the Eagles. And number 20 Tory James, Raider interception leader in 2001, helped limit Philadelphia to just one third down conversion. Randy Jordan's great run highlighted the rushing game and the total control created by the Raiders coaching staff with ball possession for over 40 minutes. Number 40, John Ritchie, tied in Jeremy Brigham and the front line sprung number 25, talented running back Charlie Garner. Then Zach Crockett pierced the defense as Raider decades of destiny continued with a 20 to 10 triumph on the road. Here comes Crockett into the end zone, right up the gut behind Ritchie. Touchdown, Raiders! With four straight wins, the Raiders led the AFC West when they hosted Denver on Monday Night Football. The offensive line did not give up a sack as Gannon completed 74% of his passes. Raider preparation was evident on this screen to Garner with blocks downfield by Middleton, Brigham, and Roland Williams. Then Terry Kirby, 42, powered for 20 more yards.
multi-talented Tim Brown opened the scoring and Oakland led by seven. Grady Jackson, Rod Coleman, and Travian Smith recorded sacks, and Anthony Dorsett denied Denver receivers. John Ritchie's touchdown and Tim Brown's second score, one of his nine catches for the evening, widened the lead to 16 points. Again, down the middle, Brown's got it! Interception by 59 William Thomas sealed victory as the silver and black remained atop the AFC West. The next home game was against the San Diego Chargers. Rich Gannon, with three times as many touchdowns as interceptions in 2001, rolled right then drilled Tim Brown, who had worked himself open. Rolling right is Gann, chased by Wiley from behind, and throw the end zone, pop! Tim Brown, touchdown, Raiders! Pro Bowl punter Shane Leckler's great hang time allowed cover man Johnny Harris, number 37, to smother the returner. Chris Cooper and Elijah Alexander tackled for losses. Rich Gannon recorded 25 completions, four touchdowns, and over 300 yards. Seventeen-year veteran Jerry Rice, the NFL's all-time leading receiver, caught three touchdown passes in this 83rd Western Division battle between the Raiders and Chargers. William Thomas had a key fumble recovery and return, and Torrey James an interception to end the game. Flutie, plenty of time, clock ticking, gonna step up and heave one. Jump up there, tipped and intercepted by Tony James. Coming back, will slide down. The game is over. David Dunn, Brandon Jennings, Rodney Pete, Raymond Perryman, Jermaine Williams, Junior Iwane, Toby Miles, DeLawrence Grant, Marcus Knight. Every Raider was ready. Good block by Drew Middleton. The lead of 10, 5, touchdown, Raiders! Leading 14 to 3, Gannon found Tim Brown for six. Up fake left, look middle way. Gannon has Brown wide open, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Tim Brown! Right down the gut. Raider supremacy was complete, overcoming both the rain and the Giants. Crushing hits by Rod Coleman, 57, and Bobby Brooks helped limit New York. In his ninth consecutive 1,000-yard season, Tim Brown contributed 117 yards and two touchdowns as the Raiders stormed Giants Stadium, winning on their fourth Eastern trip, 28-10. Fans filled Network Associates Coliseum seeking a fifth straight win against the Chiefs. Trailing by 10 Pro Bowl bound Rich Gannon's pass to tight end Roland Williams set up the Raiders' first score as the comeback commenced. Waitley, good block, and that's going to be a touchdown for Waitley. What a block by Wisniewski. Deekert, Jackson, and Upshaw pressured relentlessly. Rich Gannon's bootleg cut the deficit to three. William 
Thomas, Elijah Alexander, Greg Beekert, Tony Bryant, and Marquez Pope were intimidated. Tim Brown, with blocks by Bobby Brooks, Mondro Fulcher, Randy Jordan, and others, went the distance. Brown's not going to fair catch this one. He's going to go on the 11, trying to get outside. 15, 20, look at Brown, 30. Brown to midfield. Brown to the 40 of the Chiefs. Brown to the 30. Tim Brown, incredible. Corner Charles Woodson protected the end zone and the lead. 62 Adam True, Pro Bowl tackle Lincoln Kennedy, and Zach Crockett helped spring Charlie Garner. Jerry Rice's touchdown was part of a scoring avalanche that had the Raiders ahead near the game's end. With just a minute 38 remaining, the Chiefs went for two to tie the game. But Raider mind and muscle took charge. Rod Coleman and William Thomas closed the passing lane, and Reagan Upshaw got to the passer to preserve the win. The following Saturday in San Diego, Rod Coleman recorded two of Oakland's four sacks, and Jerry Rice scored the go-ahead touchdown. And in back, steps up, throws deep, Rice wide open, got it! Touchdown, Jerry Rice! Linebacker William Thomas had two key interceptions. The second completed a classic fourth-quarter goal line stand. Loaded play action. Looks right. Well, intercepted again by the Raiders. And this one may go a long way. A lateral back to Woodson by Thomas. Woodson at a 45-yard line. With 10 wins, the Raiders were the only division winner to repeat in 2001. In the playoffs, only the winners survived. And everyone in silver and black knew the stakes. We got to go today, baby. Excitement filled the Coliseum. Raider fans, like their team, were ready to erupt. Beginning with an offensive line that allowed fewer sacks than any Raider team since 1967, this would be a day of glory. Randy Jordan was part of an Oakland offensive attack that led to three Janikowski field goals in their first three possessions. With time running out in the half, Rich Gannon fired to Tim Brown deep in the end zone and the Raiders led 16 to 3. Why 20? Why 20? Reagan Upshaw and the defense pounded the Jets for four quarters. Keep this intensity. Way to go. Offensively, the Raiders exploded for over 500 yards against their playoff opponent. Jerry Rice caught nine passes for 183 yards and a touchdown. Zach Crockett's plunge behind John Ritchie increased the lead. A 
Ahead 24 to 17, the Raiders seal victory. Gannon hit Rice again and Garner broke for 80. A great win for this remarkable organization in their 20th playoff season. Rachel now stopped the clock. They're going to pitch it oh, wide. Lord. Here's a play to Garner, and he's got the first down. He's hit all the way for a touchdown. 40, 30, touchdown. Charlie Garner, what a play. 80 yards to win the game. In January 2002, Tight end Dave Casper became the latest Raider great inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame, joining 12 other legendary wearers of the silver and black enshrined there. Defensive end Howie Long. Safety Ronnie Lott. Center Jim Otto. Guard Gene Upshaw. Tackle Art Shell. Wide receiver Fred Bolitnikoff. Quarterback kicker George Blanda. Linebacker Ted Hendricks. Cornerback Willie Brown. Cornerback Mike Haynes. Running back Eric Dickerson. And owner coach administrator Al Davis, who recently introduced new head coach Bill Callahan. And to the Oakland Raider players, past and present, and to the number one fans in football, the Raider Nation, I embrace this opportunity and I embrace this challenge as your head coach. Since 1963, when Al Davis first pledged to build professional sports finest organization, the Raiders have dominated pro football in terms of consistent victory. Though 2001 left the Raiders with unfinished business, one constant remains. Raider will to win will endure forever.